Hello and welcome to T3's in-depth look at the LG Optimus Black, the smartphone that's hoping to entice you away from your iPhones, your Samsungs and your HTCs. And it does this on two fronts. Not only is it the lightest smartphone around at 109 grams, it's also super skinny and it comes with a 4-inch Nova screen display for those looking for high-end touchscreen tech. The first thing you'll notice about the LG Optimus Black is that it comes running Android 2.2 instead of the most recent gingerbread. Now this isn't a huge problem when it comes to general usability, but it is a bit annoying that users can't get the whole range of features straight out of the box. LG's also plonked its LG Home UI on top of Android, so that means you'll get the full app drawer at the bottom of the screen and it also splits apps into those inbuilt and those downloaded. You could also pair this down to a simple to use UI, which is also pretty handy. One thing that is specific to the Optimus Black is the gesture button on the side. That means you can twist, flip and shake your phone to open things like music, videos and also photos. It's pretty much fun over functionality, but if you do invest some time with it, you could get some handy shortcuts. When it comes to features, this phone has a fair few tricks up its sleeve. Some, like LG World, which offers themes and wallpapers, are less than useful, but others, like Wi-Fi Direct, which allows you to share folders in a Bluetooth fashion, but in a more secure and faster way, are handy additions. Facebook and Twitter for LG are also included, but they're not as good as the official counterparts, and the less said about the MySpace app, the better. One of the big features that LG are touting on the Optimus Black is the 4-inch Nova display that's meant to be one of the clearest LCDs on the market. When you first get out of the box, it is clean and sharp, but with the likes of the Apple iPhone Retina display, the Sony Ericsson Reality display and Samsung's Super AMOLED Plus on the market, it doesn't feel market-leading. It's also a little disappointing when it comes to battery life. The Nova display is meant to lead to a 50% decrease in battery consumption. However, in our test, when we used the phone as a video player on our commute and had push email on the go, by the end of the day, we did have to run to the nearest power socket. Hopefully, Android 2.3 will be able to solve this. The LG Optimus Black has a fight on its hands in the market. Mid-range smartphones are always a hard sell for consumers. It's on the same price range as the more powerful LG Optimus 2X and the better looking Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc. And it's only a smidge cheaper than the Samsung Galaxy S2. Battery life is a worry and sometimes it does feel too light and doesn't really have that premium feel to it. On its own in a vacuum, the LG Optimus Black is a great phone and no doubt it will entice users with its felt chassis and fantastic screen. But with a range of more powerful dual core processor phones on the market, this one might slip through the cracks. For all the latest news, reviews and features on the LG Optimus Black, keep it locked to t3.com.